Hello again and welcome to that word. Today we are going to be talking about the second coming of Christ. My text comes from St. John chapter 14, 1 to 3 and the Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare that place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in a very special way, we ask that you will be with this word, be with this message. Help that this word will resonate with somebody today. In Jesus' name, Amen. The second coming of Christ. The apostles and the early Christians considered Christ's return as the blessed hope. The testimony of scriptures are very important because they show the certainty of the second advent rooted in the trustworthiness of the scripture. St. John 14 and Jude 14 and 15. There is also a guarantee of the first advent. The guarantee the first adventist provides is interesting. The second advent is closely tied to Christ's first advent. But what will be the manner of Christ's return. It will be a literal one and a personal return. Yes, indeed. Acts chapter 1 and verse 11. We are told there that two angels said that the same Lord who just left them, real and tangible person, not some spirit entity, would come back to be with us, this same Jesus. It will be a visible return. The scripture clearly states that the righteous and the wicked will simultaneously witness his coming. Revelation 1 and verse 7 and Matthew 25, 30. It will be an audible return as well. His coming will be made known by sound as well as sight. First Thessalonians 4 and verse 16. You can look up that scripture. It will be a glorious return. When Christ returns, he comes as a conqueror with power and in the glory of his Father with his angels. Matthew 16 and verse 27. It will be a sudden an unexpected return. There are many individuals who don't believe that Jesus is coming back. But the Bible tells us that he is coming back as a thief in the night. We don't expect to have robbers and thieves coming at us. They always come unexpectedly. So his return will be sudden and an unexpected event. Christian believers longing and looking for Christ's return will be aware when it draws near. 1 Thessalonians 5, 4 to 6. But what will be the manner of his coming? It will be a cataclysmic event. Nebuchadnezzar's dream of the metal image depicts the cataclysmic manner in which Christ will establish his kingdom of glory. Daniel 2, 32 to 35. An important aspect of the establishment of Christ's eternal kingdom is the gathering of all the redeemed. Matthew 24, 31. Two events make 
possible this universal gathering, the resurrection of the dead and the translation of the living. Yes, the death of the unbelievers to save the second advent is a time of joy and exhilaration. But to the lost, it will be a time of devastating terror. Revelation 6, 16 and 17. But how about the signs of Christ's soon return? The first signs announcing the second advent took place more than 1700 years after Christ's ascension and others have followed contributing to the evidence that his return is very near. I don't know if we need more signs, beloved friends, but in these days we are seeing the signs coming at us, left, right, and center. Yes, signs in the natural world. Christ predicted that there would be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. Luke 21, 25, all of these signs would mark the end of the 1260 years of persecution. Signs in the natural world, the witness of the earth occurred on November 1st, 1755. The Lisbon earthquake gave an impetus to the study of prophecy. The witness of the sun and the moon, 25 years later, the next sign mentioned in the prophecy took place, the darkening of the sun and the moon, the witness of the stars, the great meteoric shower of November 13th, 1833, fulfilled this prophecy. Signs in the natural world, the unique witness of earth, sun, moon, and stars, which came in the precise sequence and at the time Christ had predicted, directed the attention of many towards the prophecies of the second advent. Signs in the religious world, a great awakening. Revelation 14, 6 and 7, as John the Baptist prepared the way for Christ's first advent, so the advent movement is preparing the way for the second advent. The preaching of the gospel. Yes, Second Peter 3 and verse 12. Christianity now has at its disposal an unprecedented variety of resources for use in its mission. Yes, we have a lot of tools nowadays, beloved friends, where we can spread the gospel. We have social, the social media platforms, and there are a whole lot of them. And we can capitalize on them. Instead of doing negative stuff on them, we can use these platforms to spread the word of the Lord. We have the radio ministry. We have television ministry. Yeah, we have video. We have audio. Yes, we have all different kinds of advantages of spreading the gospel these days and we have to do it quickly because we don't have a lot of time yes there are also signs in the religious world a religious decline there is a widespread proclamation of the gospel and it does not necessarily mean a massive growth of genuine christianity Instead, the scriptures predict or predicted a decline of true spirituality toward the end of time. And you can read 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Yeah, you can read that. Signs in the religious world. A resurgence of the papacy. 
according to the biblical prophecy the papacy would experience a great renewal of influence and respect revelation 13 and verse 3 already today many view the pope as the moral leader of the world but there will be also a decline in religious freedom the religious liberty obtained at a great cost yes guaranteed by the separation between church and state will erode and finally be established revelation 13 15 and 17. yes beloved friends a surge in world crime and just a few days ago we heard of the shootings yes in buffalo new york where one man could take a gun and kill so many individuals then almost a week later we heard of the students and teachers who died in texas an increase of wickedness beloved friends surge in world crime is a sign that the second coming is at hand the disrespect for god's law current within much of christianity has contributed to much society's contempt for law and order yes sexual revolution disregard for god's law has also broken down the restraints of modesty and purity yes wars and calamities as matthew 24 tells us about them wars never before have they been so global and so destructive right now as we speak there's a war between russia that is quite active and ukraine many individuals are dying natural disasters disasters appear to have increased significantly in recent years famines never before has the world had millions of people suffering from either starvation or malnutrition and so beloved friends as children of god it's not time for us to be getting ready it's time to be ready and stay ready beloved friends the redeemer is about to return the redeemer's return brings to a glorious climax the history of god's people behold this is our god we have long waited for him and he will save us let us prepare ourselves beloved friends we are going to see the king now is not the time to be getting ready but we should be ready beloved friends the bible says in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told you i go to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare that place for you i will come again and receive you unto myself that where i am there he may be also so the signs are clear beloved friends and soon and very soon jesus is coming back so it behooves us as brothers and sisters to get ready and stay ready may the lord bless and keep you